selamat datang ke channel Thunder Gill. Hari ini kita akan review salah satu warband dari uh, last year punya main set iaitu Dread Pageant. Uh, so last year punya main set, core set uh, iaitu Warhammer Underworld Dark Chasm. Datang ada dua warband iaitu Dread Pageant and Miari like color atas kata saya. So hari ni kita akan review Dread Pageant dulu dan start pada first sekali dia punya main hero dia punya leader iaitu Vesselak the Gifted. Kita tengok miniature dia dulu. So kita tengok di situ. Ini bukan sebab Dah lah tak cantik lah sebab saya boleh cakap ini antara miniature yang paling susah saya pernah pin sebab saya tak biasa dengan color scheme dia orang dia memang agak buruk sikit saya minta maaf lah <laughs> tapi memang, memang susah lah dia antara miniature yang paling susah saya pernah pin sebab tak berapa cantik so macam saya cakap ni biasa lihat dia gifted ok kita tak buka dia pula slide dia gifted attack dia adalah organizing spear Reaction during this fighter attack after the deal damage step pick one deal one damage to this fighter or heal one this fighter after activation survive fighter has six or more wall counter okay saya akan terangkan lebih sikit strategi dia lepas kita tengok semua dia punya character dia so lepas ni adalah Hatzu Hatzu is the bow punya you know, range punya character Hazu Hunter Attack adalah Arrow of Desire Arrow of Desire When they drive back Step of this attraction Instead of driving the target back Push the target up To one hex So Setiap kali dia attack Then successful Then instead of pushing dia Instead of driving back Kita boleh push dia ke depan Okay Ini dia punya inspire dia Tak apa kita akan tengok lebih Nanti lepas kita tengok Tengok nanti Okay This one is Gliset. Color scheme dia warna purple sebab dia datang daripada Slanesh punya main. Jadi saya nak try buat lah for that purple aesthetic tapi tak jadi. <laughs> tak apa. Ini Gliset. This fighter is on guard. So, this fighter is always on guard. So, I thought there are the Okay, you just check out every movement. It's next step. Yeah, so the dance. You can inspire me. Yeah. Then, lastly, is Slack Slash. Slack Slash. This is beautiful model. So, I really like the paint in it. But it's lah. So, I have a skill that I have to use. Tak berapa cantik lah Saya nak paint balik ah, Malas lah saya banyak lagi Backlog <laughs> nak kena buat So as long as It look beautiful Should be fine Alright Ni kat dia Six lash Kita ada little flurry Kita Dia sama macam Dia punya reaction Okay Kita nak tengok dia punya dan balik ke versi lain saya akan terangkan sikit ok versi lain dia gifted so main strategi of drag pageant ni ish diorang kena cepat-cepat sikit dapat uh, inspired ni so inspired condition diorang lah after activation surviving fighter 6 or more wound counter surviving fighters tu maksudnya semua fighter including your opponent so as long as there are 6 counter on the table atas meja tu lah bila kita main tu kan ada 6 counter maybe maybe kita ada, sebab that's why dia ada punya nanti saya terang sikit bila kita contoh kita ada 3 wound dan pihak musuh ada 4 wound so dah 7 so kita boleh inspire all all uh, kita punya character so bila dia inspire nampak dia punya damage naik daripada 2 jadi 3 so wound dia 
Oh dia punya step naik nampak Step daripada 4 Naik jadi 5 uh, Bila jadi inspire ni dia kuat sikit lah kan? uh, Damage tinggi Dia punya move range pun tinggi A lot of advantage lah Ok that's why bila kita tengok kat sini During this fighter attack shelter the damage step Pick 1 deal 1 damage to this fighter or pick 1 fighter Kenapa, kita, kenapa nak deal 1 damage to this fighter So that condition Untuk support dia punya inspire condition So usually macam kita lawan musuh yang uh, Ada 3 je dia punya Hero 3, dia, 3 je dia punya karakter Usually macam saya punya Storm saya Curse Breaker Nanti saya akan, tunjuk, saya akan buat review yang lain tu yang tu pula Sebab tu model lama So kita boleh deal damage lagi kita Untuk dapatkan 6 Wound counter tu Dan kita boleh inspire Dan kita boleh start attacking Start uh, Be more and more aggressive lah Deck dia Saya try main itu Saya rasa Tak adalah Aggro deck sangat Dia bila aggro Bila dah jadi Inspire code Bila inspire condition is fulfill Then dia akan jadi aggro deck Memang kena kena Kita kena kejar <laughs> So bila kita tengok inspire condition Dia orang pun si Step jadi sama Tapi Hazu dia ada Kelebihan lain Dalam sebab Eh Hazu Reset Sorry So Hazu dia Jadi lagi jauh Oh dia punya range pun Jadi tambah Terus ni 3-3 je Yang ni jadi 4-3 So reset Reset tambah lagi Itu attack lah nampak Whirling Glaive Sighting Ini, Oh dia punya dodge Tau sama Di step tambah uh, Tambah satu dia attack Oh dia tambah Tambah dice lagi Yang tiga dice ha. Oh Power Hunter quarry Ini just tambah dice Jadi empat dice So tengok tu So tengok spec condition Dia sama Cuma tambah ni lah Dia ni lebih kepada tanker lah Sebab dia boleh As any successful attack Dia boleh heal dia sendiri Dia boleh tambah bagi damage Dan damage dia bangkat tinggi dua Dan kita boleh tengok Supporting-supporting card yang lain tu So sekarang kita tengok uh, Dia punya uh, Objektif uh, So kita tengok kat sini Access of gluttony Score this melee of the activation with one more fighter is adjacent to two or more enemy fighters It's pretty easy to score Sebab dia kata just after activation More friendly fighter adjacent to two or more So kalau kita duduk rapat dengan musuh Kesemua usually Yelah kalau kita lawan dengan more melee punya Character Melee punya warband Macam Steelheart Any storm Any Stormcast punya Warband dia usually melee So This card boleh Kita boleh assess now So saya dah sleeve semua card saya Sebab saya ada Event this Sunday There's one more I'll charge token Which is Raven Fighter This one also senang As long as kita move Charge Every character kita move or charge But Immediately Dah, dah ada token tu Semua Dah boleh you know, Dah boleh score And face it Each Raven Raven Fighter Is one or more more wound counter each surviving enemy fighter so as long as kita attack semua this card is susah sikit nak score kalau warband pihak lawan dia banyak macam hari tu saya try lawan nighthorn briar queen dia ada tujuh kira tujuh uh, unit so memang susah nak, nak dapat nak score this one so uh, kita boleh aim kepada yang sikit lah ya. Yang warband yang sikit This one is very easy to win Score this and enemy face If there are 3 or more friendly fighter Surviving friendly fighter And each survivor fighter is fire This one is also senang Macam saya cakap tadi Sebab kan dia punya Especially this Especially this two character lah We're focusing more on getting wound Then dia boleh inspire macam cepat Ya, yeah, 3 more So, make sure Jangan mati lah seorang pun 
or this end phase will lead to whole and adjective in the three or one or more enemy leaders are whole and adjective in your territory. So this is a double-edged sword. Sebab kita ada dua, dua objektif yang boleh achieve antara sama ada leader kita whole objective ataupun enemy leader whole and adjective. This one is quite easy kalau kita tak be aggressive, aggressive. So kita just yelah because uh, bila Vesilite dah, dah inspired, dia boleh move lima So, that's a pretty much far, that's why kita boleh Tapi nak kena hold lah sebab dia end phase Sekarang dia end phase, if your band hold more objective than any other war band hmm, Quite easy Tapi kita kena tengok kat hold objective, tapi bila kita start main hold objective ni Hold objective ni, usually tak berapa sesuai kalau Uh, sebab dia yalah dia bila hold objective kita kena duduk kita tak boleh gerak tak boleh boleh tak boleh battle kita tak boleh jadi agresif kita jadi kena duduk hold je saya tak apa suka yang ni usually saya akan discard dia oh saya lupa terangkan deck yang ni yang deck yang saya tu spring ni adalah pre build deck so maksudnya kalau anda beli dari chasm akan anda, anda akan dapat tiga deck iaitu dread pageant miari true color punya deck dan juga extra deck Extra deck ni kita boleh gunakan untuk swap card Kalau macam macam tu kat tadi Saya cakap tadi, yang ni mungkin kita tak suka guna Kita tak suka hold objective So kita boleh swap dengan card lain Tapi sebabkan uh, uh, A new season Core set dah keluar Iaitu Hero Deep Dia ada satu format baru iaitu Dia call Rival Format Rival Format ni memaksa saya untuk Guna pre-build deck uh, Maksudnya deck yang memang datang dengan Uh, warband tu uh, Dia tak boleh Kita tak boleh tukar-tukar kad dia uh, That's why Kad saya sekarang ni Semua adalah pre-build deck Kita boleh check Nanti kita akan check Kalau kita tengok atas ni Semua warband dia Tak ada yang universal pun Semua yang memang Memang Pre-build apa Warband dia Okay Score dia frame daily After an activation If two or more Predator fighter Adjust to enemies To the same enemy fighter See Senang Kalau dia similar after friendly fighter attention and holding agile terms This one is, is tricky sikit Kalau lawan Miaris, ok sebab Miaris punya Main objective dia kena hold objective banyak Dia kena setiasa duduk, setiasa guard So this usually useful tu lah lawan yang war band yang hold objective Tapi for now Sebab ya, guna je lah Scott is an phase if there are no enemy fighter with any move or charge token your warband hold two or more objective very easy to win saya last time menang kerana lepas score ni just hold objective and face with swipe fighter is enemy territory ni pun a bit tricky and kalau kita lawan agresif punya deck mungkin agak susah sebab dia akan kejar kita kita kena lari ke enemy territory this one is the big one Score this end phase if there are three or more surviving fighters and friendly fighters and they are more they three or more and enemy fighters are out of action. So this one is pretty hard to get. Sebab kita kena survive tiga kita punya unit kena survive. Then kita kena bunuh tiga atau lebih out of action. This one is a little bit tricky lah. This one is need more strategizing than to achieve. Kodi similar after and friendly fighter attraction if that, that attraction takes an enemy fighter with two or more upgrades out of action or that friendly fighter has three or more upgrades uh, This one saya tak pernah achieve lagi So dia kena bunuh saya karakter enemy fighter yang ada two or more upgrades This one is a little bit hard to achieve Atau when friendly fighter has three or more upgrades Tak pernah, tak pernah achieve tapi dapat satu je tak berbaloi ok that's the 12 objective card kita akan tengok uh, support employee card pula so this is oh jap saya nak asing nak dulu senang this one is equip
はい。Okay, rush up. Ini sih ada kalau kita macam saya macam video sebelum ni. Soal ni maksudnya ploy, maksudnya kita boleh guna tanpa bayar uh, objective token. Ia bukan glory point, tapi bayar glory point. Kita boleh guna. So this one is the reaction. Play this after friendly fighter attention takes an enemy fighter or action that fight friendly fighter makes one move action. So, kat ni bila kita dah bunuh je enemy Kita gunakan ni Then that, that Kita punya unit yang bunuh tu boleh gerak So, it's good one Kita boleh fast pace sikit Vicious Bobs Choose one enemy fighter adjacent to one or more friendly fighter The chosen fighter is inspired and cannot be inspired This is 5% until the end of round Until the fighter is taken away We need this effect and The chosen fighter is inspired Oh, ok, saya tak boleh guna lagi kat ni uh, One or more friendly fighter Dia jadi berarti Uninspired and cannot be inspired So dia menghalang uh, Enemy fighter untuk inspired Persist until the end of round Ok, that's nice Choose one fighter One fighter holding an objective Don't damage to that fighter hmm. Just free damage To any whole objective Just one friendly fighter, pick one, heal one or deal one damage. It's very simple. Tak lama. Ini mahu saya buka pula. Okay, tak boleh. Tengok kan, alam-alam ni. Saya bagi freebie. Alright. Fuel by sensation. Oh ni saya kita tengok tadi Minus 1 damage from first attack action man in the next situation to minimum of 1 Boleh kurangkan damage eh Dia pelik sikit lah This one is for the inspired condition I think Reaction after the enemy fighter move action if this if that fighter is not just into a friendly slash 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 push a friendly slash slash up to two hex up to push that slash must know more than two hex for a friendly by select. Enemy fighter move action so any fighter move action. To be push by select slash slash. Okay, that's nice. Shaping. Play this during an enemy fighter attack that targets a friendly fighter of the damage success step. When resolving the damage, deal damage step, choose one friendly fighter with three hexes of the target. That fighter rather than the target is their damage for the attack then the conversion phase. Okay, uh, this one is uh, shaping ni dia untuk support. So, bila contoh dah macam, uh, gambar pun dah terang kan. Bila enemy fighter attack kita punya you know, kita pindahkan wound yang successful ke friendly fighter yang three hexes. So bila dia attack that that damage that wound will goes to them. So we share. Lure of slanesh to one fighter push that one chosen fighter one hex or, or or up to one hex for each surviving friendly fighter with one or more wound counters. This one is pretty okay. Kita boleh guna one fighter. So, maksudnya enemy fighter pun included. So, kita boleh push enemy fighter dekat sikit yang kita. Deadly Embrace. Play this during an enemy fighter range 1 or range 2 attention that target a friendly fighter after the day damage step. If the friendly fighter has been dealt enough damage to take the heart attention, roll one match dice on the dice of Thunderbolt. The friendly fighter makes an attention that must target. Okay, this one is the uh, more counter. So, bila character kita mati, ha, bila, bila enemy fighter attack kita sampai mati, then kita guna discard. So, that fighter yang nak mati tu boleh make one attack action as a uh, counter lah. Dark desire. Choose one enemy fighter. The chosen fighter player must pick one. Give that one. Give that fighter one move token or you push that fighter one hex. This 
one is untuk bagi move token atau push fighter tapi this one is for the enemy kita boleh choose enemy fighter dan the cho chosen fighter player must pick one this one is is kind of weird lah ok kita akan pergi ke equip equip kena spend glory point untuk equip this one is restricted for jelet reset after another fighter friendly fighter move fashion push, push this fighter 1 hex or 2 hex if you deal 1 damage to this fighter let's push plus minus 1 dice from attachment by enemy fighter just to this fighter this one is good this one is uh, uh, membuat kita membuatkan enemy tu kehilangan dice lah usually macam macam dia ni lah biasa lah kan biasa lah ni perlukan 2 hammer so dengan kalau dia dekat ni dia akan jadi satu je dice untuk SSS4 so it's pretty hard pretty good lah untuk counter dia orang this one just plus move uh, plus 2 if I have 1 or more pun counter when this fight is dead damage roll 1 defense dice or if there's 1 damage just reduce damage this right friendly fighter attack one attack action before the attack roll do one damage to this fighter if you do choose clip or answer the attack and the ability and the ability so this one is more to but cliff and snaney is a is a rule in the game uh, dia membuatkan kalau cliff hammer menjadi useful useless and snare is when uh, dodge become useless plus one damage to this fighter range uh, just tambah one damage bila character kita ada wounds the action that target this fighter roll one dice Roll hammer, pick one of the upgrade that can discard it. This one is to remove upgrades. So this thing go. This should be the plus one. This one kita tambah attack at uh tapi please case but it one plus the number of the target wound counter. So lagi banyak wound that can have lagi banyak lah dia punya damage. This fighter first range attack, 3 plus attack action in round. This fighter max range 3 attack action. First range 3 plus attack action in round. So, boleh attack 2 kali. So, that's great. Enemy fighters that begin move action within 2 houses. Okay, you need to reduce move. So, enemy fighter yang akan buat move action within 2 hex of this fighter sekarang akan jadi min minus 1 move So, kalau dia ada 3, jadi 2 Then, minimum dia kosong So, that, that's a really great card Okay, itu saja deck uh, datang daripada pre-build deck from Slug Eh, Slug, Slug, Slug Facilite the Gifted Dread Pageant Ah... Uh, this Sunday, saya akan buat satu gameplay So, bukan this Sunday lah, last Sunday actually Kalau based on this video keluar, last Sunday saya ke, saya ada buat video uh, gameplay So, saya akan tunjuk macam mana cara nak main Tapi mungkin, mungkin a little bit hard sebab saya record video tu dalam kedai game uh, Jadi, mungkin uh, agak susah lah untuk penerangan tu saya akan saya akan try buat video tutorial tapi saya rasa a uh, Warhammer sendiri dah uh, game workshop sendiri ada keluar tutorial mungkin saya akan link kat bawah kalau siapa yang anu dan uh, mungkin anda semua boleh follow saya punya social media dan saya akan always update my social media if there's any event or there's any uh, news update apa benda yang berkaitan tentang hobi Hobi TCG, eh, magic macam kena nampak kat belakang saya tu ada magic card So this one is uh, Warhammer Underworlds Usually saya pretty active, saya selalu main dekat uh, Wira SC15 So saya akan link juga Wira kat bawah So eh, anybody wants to you know to learn to play Just message message me on my social media Then maybe we can see and play together So ni saja video untuk hari ni Terima kasih kerana menonton Please, subscribe, please like and subscribe. Uh, Assalamualaikum.
Peace.